District and Oriole Park. It's the Red Sox and Oriole. Next. The park in Baltimore. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. Hi again, everybody. Matt Baskershin here for this AL East matchup. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, a good matchup on the mound here in this opener. Yeah, and as we come down the stretch here, we get a couple of guys. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against, as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, you know, you really hate to see this first inning opportunity slip away, especially with two guys on and your cleanup hitter up there. But now it's going to take a two-out hit from your number five guy. And pitch number 33 in the inning will be the lucky one as this is swung on and missed to retire the side. Orioles strand a couple. We've played an inning. No score. Harry Potter will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle, and the Red Sox have their first hit of the ball game. And the runner holds at second, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. It just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with the base hit. If Pulse will dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. He's been tough to deal with this year. Second on the team in RBI, so this is a golden opportunity. Nothing as we play the second. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Drifting back behind first now. That's really a bad breakdown out there in the outfield. By the time everything's said and done, three runs are going to score here. This was a mess from beginning to end. Two down. Hit hard toward the right side. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And this will reach the wall out around the 318 side. And the run is in from second as they're on the board for the first time. Four to one now. Well, that's what he's done well all season. That's swing the bat with runners in scoring position. He drives in another one here on the RBI double. The inning. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see, he's right up there, fourth in the AL in that category. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Yeah, and on this pitch right here, you've got to make up your mind just a little more quickly up there. This is a ball that you got to think about maybe taking the left field, but instead, his swing is just a little bit late. He pulls off a little bit, and now he's going to go sit down. Harper Baltimore. Here comes the 1 2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Swing. 
swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Well, as we take a look at the pitches by any, that last one puts him at 91. So stamina will start to become a real factor here the further he goes along. 2-2 Two -two pitch on the way. Make it four strikeouts in a row as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And remember, number eight will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. center field, it's a two-out hit. But I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole, and that average, it'll climb a few more points. John Hulse will get another shot. Great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And the route is on now. It's a home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. 41st home run of the year for him. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. tell you what, there is no better feeling for a hitter after being backed off the plate than to turn around and do this on the next pitch. That is just the ultimate. You think you can intimidate me? Uh-uh. Think again. The one-two. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. And all through this winning streak of theirs, We've seen some great starting pitching, and this has been another very good performance. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance, and this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The relay, the tag, and he's out at third, and a poor decision to try to stretch it that time. Yeah, you know he's got two bases in the bag, but he wants three. And he ain't going to get it as a good throw is going to take care of him trying to stretch that double into a triple. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail six to one. for the first out of the inning. This little four-game run they've been on has been a good one, but unless things change in a hurry, looking like that win streak's going to end right here. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. We keep talking about it. Be careful of signs of tiring, but... That's three straight strikeouts for him. He's getting even more unhittable as this one goes along. Number eight will dig in. One hit in two official trips thus far. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. And when things are going well, these are the little things that just seem to start going your way. Nothing too amazing here, but this winds up an infield single, and the brakes just keep going their way. Tom Pulse will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation. In Full count offering on its way. Oh, here's a line drive, and that'll be over the second baseman's head and into right center as he comes through a base hit. And he will beat the tag of Weir safe at the plate. Well, if you want to point fingers at who's to blame for this disaster, you're going to need both angles. Got him. And that's
that's number 15 for the ball game. You want to talk about throwing a fastball in a guy's kitchen? Uh, he came in, sat down, had a cup of coffee with him. <laughs> you aren't going to tie a guy up any better than that. Fastball swung on and hit in the air to left. Brewster is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Orioles leave one. They trail big. It's nine to one. Greg Pulse will step in. One for four in the ball game. Swing and he bangs this one into right, and that should get a run in with two away. It's good for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Now the mound. One thing you cannot do. You can't give the other team free passes. Two walks in the inning set this up. Now you've got a pitcher that's just hoping to get one over the plate. So he grooves this one. Winds up costing. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. And so far, that's been the tail of this game in a nutshell. Way, way too many pitches being swung out out of the strike zone. I mean, it's almost getting comical now. And if I'm pitching on the mound, I wouldn't throw anything close to the strike zone. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, we talked about how they needed a good outing out of this guy, and he gave them that and even more, finishing off the complete game victory. more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him.